Hey there, YouTubers. 10,000 likes here. I have a, a lure to show you. I picked up uh, a new lure, actually two new lures, and um, there's been a lot of buzz about these lures, no pun intended. Um, and I just kind of wanted to give my two cents about them because I have a slightly different perspective on these lures than I think I've seen on YouTube so far. So this lure is, of course, the River to Sea Double Plopper. Now, uh, River to Sea has been getting a lot of attention lately. The Whopper Plopper is a massively successful bait. Everybody has one and fishes one, and they're awesome, and people fell in love with that bait. Then they came out, I think it was at the end of last year, um, this Double Plopper, which has... Um, a similar concept as the Whopper Plopper, but kind of a different execution. This is a a, a true, you know, uh, buzz bait style bait. And uh, let me open this up and show you kind of what we're dealing with. But I have two colors. One is called I Know It, and the other one's called Terminator. And I bought these at Dick's Sporting Goods in La Crosse, Wisconsin. I was kind of driving through, and they had them on sale. Uh, and they had them on sale for uh, buy one, get one half off. And whenever I see baits on sale, um, especially baits that are this new, it worries me a little bit because I'm thinking to myself, uh, why, why couldn't you have sold these for regular price? And maybe part of the reason is because these suckers are $19. They are an expensive buzz bait. Um, that may not be a, a high price tag for you, like, you know, um, swim bait folks or whatever who fish like the really big expensive swim baits. But I mean, in the bass world, 19 bucks for a buzz bait, that's pretty expensive. I, I, I think you would be hard pressed to find another buzz bait that comes in at that price, at that price point. So, um, but if it's top of the line and if it works well and it catches fish and it holds up, then you should buy one. You know what I mean? My concern is that last part. Is it going to hold up? There's tons of videos out there about of um, fish hitting this bait and they're huge blow ups. I mean, it's it, just type in river to sea double plopper and you will see big bass hitting this bait. My concern about this bait is the construction of this bait and how it's going to hold up. So there's a couple of different things that are going on here. First of all, really stout hook here which is great. Um, you know, I can tell that they put a lot of, you know, effort and, and attention into the, the paint job that looks good and everything. The skirt is nice. Um, obviously you can, th there's a, a bait keeper on here, so you can put like a, a swim bait or whatever you want to put on the back of here. Um, these little plopper things that are on the top, these little, the buzz part of the buzz bait, um, to me look a little flimsy and having done some significant research on this bait that is the biggest critique is that these little plopper things uh, have to be tuned constantly so you catch a big fish let's say the big fish just chomps down on this thing when it chomps down it's going to compress these wires and they move pretty easily I mean uh, I, I, I almost I almost don't see how you couldn't have to tune this after every fish unless it's just hitting that back hook. But these these wires, they, they move really, really easily and they bend really easily. And so that's a major concern for me um, for a couple of reasons. Number one, it slows down my fishing. I don't want to have to constantly be tuning this thing every single time that I, you know, th th throw it out there and get a fish. Um, so that's number one. Number two is... Every time these wires bend, you weaken them a little bit. And when you weaken a wire, eventually it's gonna it's gonna snap, you know? Um, and that's the other major concern that I've run across in my in my research online is that more and more I'm finding reviews that say, I threw this for two weeks and one of these props snapped off. And the bait is basically useless because with only one prop, this thing doesn't sit in the water right. It wants to, or it rolls over, obviously. So now your your back bait is is sitting like, you know, that instead of that. 
And then um, these ploppers help with buoyancy. And without one of these ploppers, the, the bait basically sits too low in the water. It sinks. It sinks when you try to reel it in. So um, I don't know. I'm 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 skeptical. I'm skeptical because it's on sale. Um, I'm skeptical because it's it's uh, an expensive bait, and and you would think that would make me less skeptical. It actually makes me more skeptical that it's an expensive bait, and there's um, and there is so many uh, negative reviews about this bait because uh, when people spend nineteen dollars, I feel like psychologically um, they are gonna be predisposed to like the bait because they there's an investment there. You know what I mean? The only exception to that would be if the bait breaks. I mean, there's not a whole lot that you can really, there's no way to psychologically, um, you know, uh, work through that if the bait is broken. There's no way to rationalize. There we go. That's the word I'm looking for. There's no way to rationalize like, oh, I don't, I don't mind tuning this every single time I throw it because it's catching big fish. Okay. You can rationalize like that, but if the bait breaks, there's no way to rationalize that. It just breaks. Um, but the other perspective is maybe when people spend $19, they want to get their, their money's worth, you know, maybe they're not, um, maybe they're not kind of like, uh, beholden to that bait. Maybe they, maybe they really expect a lot out of this bait. And so, and so these negative reviews are starting to pop up. It's early days for the river to see double plopper. Um, so I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna try to pass too much judgment on it. The real thing that I want to do is get out there and throw it because I'm not going to really be able to see how it functions and performs until, until I actually throw it. Um, the bait is, um, supposed to kind of mimic schooling fish, obviously. Um, similar to like, this almost reminds me of like some of those umbrella rigs or whatever, uh, but a smaller version, it's very finesse. You can pause it and it floats in the water and all that kind of stuff. Um, so that'll be good for me because, um, I have a lot of schooling fish in my area. I mean, a lot of places have schooling fish in their area, but I see them jumping out of the water all the time, getting chased by a big bass. So I think that this will uh, probably work. I, I almost don't see how it couldn't work, but the big question for me is, will it hold up? And is it worth $19? I got mine, buy one, get one half off, but we'll see how well this thing really holds up once we actually get it out on the water. Because $19, that's a lot to lose on one bait. So anyway, YouTubers, uh, thanks a lot for watching. Uh, be sure to subscribe, hit the like button, and I'll talk to you next time. Thanks for uh, listening to me reflect about these new River to Sea double ploppers.